Okay, guys, thanks for uh, for coming out, sticking around. Um, you know, just a quick recap. I was really pleased with the way that our guys continued to chop. Uh, you know, I knew what kind of game it was going to be. Howard is a really good football team. When you look at what they did last year when they played up, they were super competitive. Could have won both their games that they played against FBS teams. Uh, a lot of those guys were back and uh, really well coached team. Uh, schematically all three phases. So I knew exactly what it was going to be. And you worry sometimes as a coach, you know, do your players understand that? Because, you know, when you play a, a FCS opponent, there are definitely different levels of FCS. And uh, this this team is a very good football team. They're going to they're gonna have great success if they can stay healthy. So uh, much respect for their program, but much respect for our team. I was really pleased. We worked them very hard in training camp. We got them, I think we got them back, and they came out and played really hard at first, a little bit slow. Um, but, you know, we, 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 were tried, we tried during training camp to make sure that the guys that had experience didn't really get a ton in the live scrimmages. So I think it took a little bit to get going. And then defensively, you know, we had five guys that were legitimately playing substantial football for the first time. So that's, that's a big chunk. And uh, they gained valuable experience. So I'm excited. I think, you know, several times during the night I wrote notes down about our team, things that came to my mind that I really didn't realize before tonight. So it was, it was really good, really good. And now we got to enjoy this for a night and, and then get to work on Akron. And uh, I look forward to doing that. So I'll try to help you with any, any answers I can. Greg, Ethan's first start. How do you, thought, how do you think he performed and how, he, how did he handle the offense? Well, I, thought he, I think he handled the offense very well. Just listening and watching him seemed very cool. Uh, got himself out of trouble a couple times. Threw it away a couple times when it, the look wasn't there. Those are the plays that no one knows. You know, they just think it's an incomplete pass. But uh, especially, you know, you're down on the 25-yard line and in, and, you know, it's not there. You just throw it away, right? You live to, live in, you live to play another play. Well, that's easy to say. It's not so easy to do. So I was pleased with that. And then I thought his accuracy kind of showed. And I think he'll get better and better too as, as we get more in a flow. But yeah, overall, I think it was a positive first outing for him and one that uh, he and Coach Shiraka can tear apart and grow from. Greg, along those lines, I mean, just offense in general, was, was this the, the plan to keep it a little vanilla to kind of ease your way into it? I mean, what, what was the strategy in a game like this? Well, I don't know if it was so vanilla. I mean, we're not like, uh, you know, Barnum and Bailey over here, we, we kind of do what we do. But we just kind of, at the beginning, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. We dropped a couple, you know, that were catchable balls that are converted third downs and the drive continues. We just kind of stumbling a little bit at the beginning. But the thing that I was really pleased with is our, our guys just kept chopping. They just kept doing it. And I told them that's going to be the difference. The differentiating factor tonight will be that you, because, again, you never know as a coach, do they believe what you tell them? that this is a really good football team. And, and you're going to have to go out and play well and chop every single moment to come away with a victory. And uh, obviously, our guys did believe that. But you don't know as a coach. You hope you hope so. But I've, I've been on both ends of that. So I was really proud of our guys for, for the way they, they continued to chop. And then the offense obviously picked up. And Kyle and Sam, you know, that, that, that they have potential to be a real good one-two punch. Um, so yeah, overall. Positive. Obviously, Sam got a lot of carries. Were you just giving uh, Kyle a blow there at the end, or were, is that um, just? Well, I think Kyle. You know, Kyle got quite a few carries and, and racked up some yards uh, quickly. So, um, yeah, I think I think it's just a rotation that we we had we had talked about doing and making sure we keep both backs fresh and keep Kyle fresh. But I thought Kyle ran you know, violently tonight. You know. Greg, what did you think of Miller's debut? And uh, why didn't we see him stretch the field more with that speed? Miller's debut, uh, probably not the best one to ask because I'm not really watching him particularly. Um, but I think, you know, I've seen a lot of him in practice. And he, he's going to be a really good player for us this year. We've got to keep him healthy. And uh, he's, got, he's got ability. We have, we have a bunch of guys. He's not the only one with speed, you know. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we'll get there. We'll get there. Greg, since I had a chance to run to both locker rooms, um, why was Larry so angry 
about the end of the game? Did you run it up? Well, I, you have to ask Larry that. You know, I have a lot of respect for Coach Scott. I think he uh, he does a great job with his program. They, obviously, they're back-to-back -back champions. Um, you know, he's a competitor. I'm a competitor, and everybody sees things a little differently, right? You see it through your lens. So, you, know, you watch the game. You you saw it, so you can draw your conclusions. I'm very comfortable with the way that we handle our team, that I handle our team. And uh, if I wasn't, I'd tell you that too. Same line, Greg. Can you just uh, take us through the thought process of going for the score there on that final play and rather than kneeling it out? No. Guys practiced all training camp. You know, they deserve. They deserve to play. It's not, you know, there was no running it up, right? If it was running it up, you don't, you don't use timeouts when you have the ball. You let the game end. You know, that wasn't retaliatory. We were going to run plays. You know, we bring in a team to play us. We bring them here. And we're get, we bring them in, right? And we got to win. And we got to get reps. And they were there. We took them. Look like some chippiness at the end there between the players after that. Just did you, were you worried about anything breaking out from that or just kind of? No, I don't. You know, there was chippiness all game. That wasn't the first time. Yeah, there needed to, there needed to be some control grabbed to that game a few times. With uh, Ture and Tyreem out, I mean, what did you think about the way that Jabomi stepped up and, and, you know, the game he had? Yeah, I think DJ and, and uh, Moses both stepped up. Now, again, without watching, I couldn't tell you if mistakes. I know DJ was super uh, productive, but I saw Moses make some plays too, TFLs. And, you know, when you watch, it's not always easy to see, but you know when a guy flashes that he made a decisive read and really went and got it. And I saw them both do that numerous times. So that's a positive and uh, eventually we'll get Tyreen back and uh, hopefully, you know, continue to build. It's a huge loss losing Mo, obviously, but um, you got to move forward. Can you uh, address the availability report and, and some guys that missed uh, today, specifically the guys that were listed as out, uh, Wesley Bailey, Flip Dixon, and uh, start with those two. You mean address it in what way? I think that Are they the, long term injuries, you expect them to be back um, sooner. No, they're not long term injuries, but I can't tell you if it's gonna be next week or the week after. But it's not it's not like, you know, down the road. Or season ending for that matter. Yeah. Greg, with flip out, you started college at safety. What led you to have the confidence and to put him in as a true freshman? His performance. Yeah. Since he got here in January, he's gotten better and better and better. And uh the way it always is around here, right? You earn it. And he had earned the spot. He was the second safety behind Flip. And uh, then when Flip went down, he, he continued. He showed that he belonged there. And I thought, you know, again, without watching the tape, it's hard. But I thought he played pretty well. Just, you know, anytime it doesn't get thrown over your head and you're a safety or the ball doesn't run and break past you, you, you know, you probably played a pretty decent game. So I'll watch it. But he's a real good football player. He's got a bright future. Coach, in his debut at tight end, Kenny Fletcher caught all four targets for 31 yards. What can you say about that addition to the offense? Yeah, you know, Kenny's a talented guy, as you guys know, um, from watching him play on defense. I think Kenny's found a home at tight end. Uh, he's going to be a work in progress all season. He really, you know, it's so new to him. Um, but, you know, some of the things you see are catches, but Kenny is a really violent blocker. And we just have to make it consistently violent blocking, and then you're going to have a complete tight end. But it'll take time. It's you know he's very new to the position. Uh, tonight, Ethan completed the ball to eight different targets. Um, you know what does that say about Rutgers' depth and just overall the chemistry built over the spring into this game? Well, I think it speaks to the depth of the receiving core and tight end core for sure. I also think it speaks to Ethan's ability to go right through his progression and not predetermine. Right, because that's easy to do. It's easy to predetermine. Say, I'm going to throw it to that guy, because the look before the snap looked that way, or you may just have confidence in him. But you can't do that. You got to let the defense tell you where to go with the ball. And I thought, you know, again, without watching the tape, I can't tell you for sure, but I thought he did a good job, and he looked very decisive, uh, very decisive. Uh, given that Howard has a lot of options offensively, especially in the run game and including at quarterback, how would you say your team responded to all the different diverse looks and weapons that they threw at you? Well, you hit on the head now. They, they have two really good backs, uh, really good backs. And the quarterback certainly is a dynamic player and very fast. I mean, 
we have some fast guys, and he ran away from a couple of them. So that's why I was telling you, you know, like I knew what we were up against. This is a, it's a really talented club, and as I said, they're well coached. So when you put those two things together, uh, it's a dangerous, a dangerous foe. So I'm really, really that that's why I was excited about the way our guys continued to chop, and and that's what it was going to take. Sorry, my notes were a mess on the availability report because. Uh, Sorry about that. Um, the last guy was Tyreen Powell, and just how close was he to making his return today? Yeah. Um, I don't know. You know, it was, it, it was definitely questionable. Like, he warmed up and he did things. But you just have to make sure that when you're coming back from a, a long-term thing that he's ready to go. And I won't rush that. Right? He's, uh, you know, I've said it, but this guy is – what, six weeks from being a day two pick, in my opinion? He gets hurt at Indiana last year, and then he gets hurt again, right? So two injuries. Uh, we just got to get him healthy, get him healthy. And then, and then when he's ready, he's going to let us know, and he'll go play great this year. I, got, I have confidence in Tyreen. Just got to get him, get him to where he's confident and ready to go. So, well, again, guys, I appreciate you sticking around tonight, and uh, thanks for, for covering our team. Oh, I forgot. I had my notes here, and I should tell you. What a deal by our first year students, huh? That place, I mean, I haven't seen our end zone pack like that. Bef like, it was before we went up. The kids were all there. That was awesome. They, I guess they had a cookout tonight. That was, I like to see them all back next week. Now, 12 o'clock start might change that for college students, but I'm going to work on it. Maybe we'll have, uh, no, I can't say that. I'll get in trouble. All right, thanks, guys.